Quite a few people have asked me different types of questions about dermoscopy. It's a relatively new concept that you're introduced to when you start your residency, so I thought why not make a video about it. In this video, I'm going to be addressing the following questions. Is it important to buy a dermoscope during residency? What are the types of dermoscopes commonly used and their pros and cons? What factors to consider before buying a dermoscope? Where to buy it? And how to use it to your advantage? So here we go, let's hear it. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. To those of you who are new here, my name is Anmol, I'm a doctor based in India and on this channel I talk about all the things about being a dermatologist and a doctor in India that I learnt along the way. Today's video is about giving you a much needed orientation about dermoscopy and about buying and using a dermoscope. Let's get started. To those of you who don't know what a dermoscope is, it's basically a dermatologist's stethoscope. It's a device that helps you visualize a magnified view of the skin and the skin lesions which in turn helps you make a diagnosis. It is a very useful and evolving technology that all the budding dermatologists must be well versed with, which is why we're talking about it in such great detail today. The reason why I always emphasize the importance of learning dermoscopy is because I find it a very important non-invasive diagnostic tool in dermatology. If you practice the art of dermoscopy regularly in the OPD, right from the first year of your residency, by the end of residency, you will be able to correctly diagnose a variety of skin diseases without having to get a biopsy done every time. So it's a huge help to you as a clinician as well as the patient. Secondly, it's such an evolving technology in dermatology currently that there's a lot of scope for research and innovation. Who's gonna bring that about? You, which is why you have to learn it. So I would definitely recommend that you try to learn and incorporate dermoscopy in your everyday practice right from the very beginning. Is it important to buy a dermoscope during residency? I would say yes, it is. It's definitely an advantage. Uh, if you have a department dermoscope, that works too, I guess, but eventually you will have to buy one for yourself. So I would recommend buying it sooner than later. However, it's not a decision that you should rush into. So I would say do proper research, try and use different types of dermoscope if possible, and pick the one that you're most comfortable with. So there are two types of dermoscopes available in the market. Contact dermoscopes like Dermlite and Heinz and non-contact dermoscopes like Dynolite. Contact dermoscope basically means that the lens of the dermoscope will come in contact with the lesion while doing dermoscopy. The disadvantage of non-contact dermoscopy is that since the lens puts pressure on the lesion, the vascular component of the lesion blanches. This problem does not arise in non-contact dermoscopes like Dynolite where the lens does not come in contact with the lesion while doing dermoscopy. So this is a comparison of the three commonly used dermoscopes uh, in terms of cost, uh, which one is contact versus which one is non-contact, which one is static versus video. Static and video basically means that a video dermoscope is one which allows you to make a video of the dermoscopy. And finally, the magnification. Talking about the pros and cons, uh, first let me talk about Dermlite and Heinz because their pros and cons are quite similar. The advantage is that the image quality and clarity of pictures you, uh, taken using these dermoscopes is very, very good. So the image quality is perfect better than Dynolite, they say, while the disadvantages are that uh, these are, since they are contact dermoscopes, they are not ideal for vascular lesions. Secondly, uh, they offer slightly lesser magnification. The cost is definitely higher. Uh, clicking and storing pictures is more difficult. I think Heinz, uh, the ones that I've used, uh, they do not allow for image capture, while the Dermlite ones does have an inbuilt image capture setup, but you have to mount a camera or a phone over the scope to click pictures, so the whole setup can sometimes become a little uh, difficult and bulky. Uh, and finally, both of these are non-video dermoscopes, so these are a few disadvantages. Then talking about Dynolite, the pros are um, that it's a non-contact dermoscope, so it's good for vascular lesions as well. It offers a very good magnification, higher magnification as possible. The cost is lesser compared to uh, similar versions and uh, the, it also has this inbuilt image capture system using software so it's easy to click and store pictures uh, personally i have used uh, all of these three but the one that i bought for myself was dynolite this is the version of the series the exact model that i got and uh, so far i'm quite satisfied with it in every way i'm even happy with the quality of images so i think amongst all these three i think dynolite is a very good option to go for however this is not a promotion it's just one person's opinion so i would definitely suggest that you try them for yourself <laughs> These are a few important points that you should consider before buying a dermoscope. First is obviously cost, then the magnification and quality of images should be good, which I think is good with all three of them. 
then comes the portability and ease of use you should be comfortable while using it and storage of pictures clicking pictures all of that should be easy that really helps finally uh, the presence of both polarizing as well as non polarizing mode this is a must polarizing mode some domoscopes don't offer this uh, and i think having both modes is very important in a domoscope and finally a few other things like after sales service so these are a few points so i think you can look this up online you will definitely find some websites which will have these products i'll tell you the ones that i am aware of for dom light there's a company called timpak healthcare you can look up their website online for details for dino light uh, local distributors are available at different places i bought mine from a local distributor i got their contact from one of my seniors so try to find out about the distributors in your area if all else fails you can always email me and i'll share the contact details with Okay, so the fun part: how to use a domoscope right from the very first year of your residency to your advantage, so that by the end of residency you're kind of an expert. Firstly, carry it to the OPD every day. Get into the habit of using it regularly for as many patients as possible. Whenever you see any interesting case, any interesting lesion, get into the habit of putting a scope over it and trying to look for patterns. You'll be surprised by how many new things you'll discover, which is all very helpful later on during your paper presentations, posters, publications, and research. while using it on a patient first try to see the normal skin to understand the normal skin patterns then move on to the skin surrounding the lesion then to the border of the lesion and then over the lesion dab the lesion with some immersion fluid to increase the resolution you can use liquid paraffin mineral oil usg gel or any alcohol based solution always visualize the lesion in both modes non polarizing as well as polarizing first see the non polarizing mode which is useful for superficial structures the surface changes scales etc and then uh, move on to the polarizing mode which is useful for deeper structures like vessels pigmentation patterns fibrosis etc carry a small book on dermoscopy any book of your choice so that it's easier to quickly refer if you want to see the findings seen in each disease you can also refer to the internet i guess but somehow i feel you should refer to a book for dermoscopy this is the book that i used for reference it's quite good handy and informative keep a proper record of photos in your phone or laptop make your own personal library of dermoscopy photos of different diseases and lesions For Dino Light, it's very easy. There's a software uh, that you need to install in your phone or laptop that clicks and stores the. So that was some commonly asked questions about using dermoscopes during residency. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any more questions about it, please feel free to leave a comment, and I'll be happy to answer your queries. If you like my content, please show your support by liking the video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.